Hey guys, my name is Xmos, and today I thought I'd show you guys how I set up my HDPVR. <clears throat> now, HDPVR, made by Hophog, costs about $200 plus shipping off Hophog.com. You can find it cheaper off Amazon or eBay. Um, I bought this for $180 with free shipping off Amazon, so you should look for it for cheaper prices. Don't just spend $200 because that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. Look, Spend your time looking and you'll save 20 bucks and who knows, you could put it towards a, a new game or who knows what, condoms or something, I don't even know. So, when you first open your box, you're going to open it up, there's tape and whatnot on it, you're going to get a remote, the PVR itself, AC power adapter, AV cords, double ended, about uh, give or take four feet. USB 2.0 plug, which connects to the back. I'll get into that later. This will be the install disc. It'll be in this little package. Uh, mine is out of the package because I've obviously been using it. Um, once you install it once, you won't have to anymore, but I have it upstairs in my room in a different little baggie. Um, you'll get instructions. And some more cables. I don't really know what these do, and I don't really care since I don't need them. But you know, you need to keep all the stuff. So let's get started putting this together. Now, first things first. Um, you need to figure out. Well, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out, but you need to know what system you're using. I'm using. I'm not sure if you can really see that. It's a Sony PlayStation 3. So can't use the regular AV cables. The yellow red and white cables, you have to use the the um I forget what these are called, it's, it slips my mind right now, but you have to have the two red and white audios, green, blue, and red cables for the Sony PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360. But this setup will work for both and yeah, there isn't any other way to set it up, so let's continue moving on. Now First, grab your HDPVR, and let me put this down real quick. You're going to want to plug in the cables. Oh, sorry. You're going to want to plug the cables in to the bottom jacks, like so. Let me just untangle the cables. The, these two cables are connected. So that way you know that these are the left and right audios. So left audio, right audio, green, red, blue. All right, so looking good so far. Put that right back there. Next, you're gonna wanna grab your double-ended AV cable that came with it and if yours doesn't come with one you're going to need one the same setup as the PlayStation or Xboxes are two two left and right audios yellow or green blue and red cables so what you're going to want to do is untangle this you're going to plug this into the back of your TV I'm not even sure if you can see that but you'll have jacks on the back of your TV right left audio red blue and green here, let me turn my TV around so you can see it. And you still can't see it. There it is, right there. So, let me stick those in real quick. Alright. Left audio, right audio. Ooh, geez, that was a close one. Left audio. Excuse me, sorry. Oh shit. Alright, well you know how to plug things in, so I'm just going to plug these in real quick. I can trust that you're not all retarded. Alright. Make sure they're plugged in all the way. These cables can be a little tricky to put in sometimes. Or either that or I'm just retarded. Either one. Um, so, 
That's all you should have to do back there in the back of the TV. So you can you, know, you can go ahead and twist this back. All right. So continuing onward, the other end of the PVR cables go in the front or the top spot on the PVR, like so. I think you know how to do it. So I'm gonna assume that you're not retarded again, and hopefully you can figure out how to put these in. It's common sense almost, so stick these big things in the hole. That's what she said to me. Boom. Is this, ooh, boom. Bam. All right. Making some good progress, and it's only six minutes long. Great. It'd probably be a lot shorter if I stop. Oh, shit. Uh, you know, whatever. I'll just stop talking. Um, next. HB, uh, uh USB 2.0 cable. USB is what you'll plug into. No, this isn't the right end. The USB 2.0 is what you'll plug into your computer, laptop, or whatever, you know, you're going to record with. You Normally a computer or laptop. And... So this end isn't really doesn't have any purpose right at the moment, but this end does. So you want to keep your USB 2.0 out of the way. Grab this cable and plug it in to the corresponding spot on the back, right there. Oh, give me a sec. These cables are being gay. <laughs> Alright, continuing onward. Next is the AV Power Jonski. You're going to want to get your power strip. Go ahead and plug that in. And then you grab the opposite end. Plug it into the corresponding spot on the PVR, which is right, not there, right here. There. Now, as you see, I turned it on. I had the PVR previously on, and I turned it on again. Now, when you turn on your TV, it's dusty. Turn on your TV. Mine says component right there, no signal. Now, to get now to get a signal, I just turn my PVR off. I'm gonna turn my PlayStation on. Give it a second. Now, by now, something would pop up on the screen. Ooh, my phone's vibrating. Um, for the picture to come up, your PVR must be in the on mode. Now that PVR is on, it's warming up. And there's your picture. Ooh, I've received a message. Isn't that just dandy? So that pretty much concludes my setup video. I uh, hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or just send me a private message and I could talk to you one on one. That would probably be a lot better. So thanks. Remember to subscribe for more. And this has been Eximos. Peace.